Ahoy and welcome to the channel. I'm Commander Tyrael and this is HMS Leopard. In the last week I've been extremely sick, my family and I, and so I've had to take a bit of time off from content creation. I had planned to make a video about the HMS Leopard and I'm glad I didn't because I was extremely angry last week with the the cost of this ship was over 30,000 silver lines and it was very hard to actually earn anything as well as having an exorbitant cost for its ammunition in the four and a half inch quick fire guns um i enjoyed the leopard but it was very hard to play because it was very hard to make any money and it was one of the first ships that i had used where i'd run at a loss and that was not very good for my state of mind <laughs> it sort of it didn't let you experience the ship for what it is it's at a very good battle rating of 4.0, and it has effectively a British destroyer's gunfire, uh, firepower, rather. And so, on paper, it looks fantastic, and it was just really held back by the repair costs and the ammunition costs. As a result of the ammunition costs, you, have to, you sort of had to continue to fight with high explosive shells only and switch to your specialist shells when you needed them. You have no other torpedoes or any other secondary armament, so it is completely a gunplay ship, and you still have the older style rangefinder. So you don't have the the benefits that some of the more modern ships have with the Cold War radar rangefinder. She's a fairly sturdy ship for what she is, anti-aircraft frigate, but in in War Thunder she plays more like just a standard gun frigate. I was told that the engine bays used to be separated and HMS Leopard has 12 diesel engines, 8 for power and 4 for electricity. So yeah, this is a very lazy video. I am going to show my gameplay from last week with the commentary that I had filmed and just sort of ignore my comments about the cost of things because it has changed. The repair cost for this ship is now great. It's come down to 18,000, which is much more manageable. And the Silver Lion modifier is much higher at 700 or so percent versus the 400 percent that we had last week. So this is the economic changes are a positive thing so far for a number of ships. Some ships have an obscene Silver Lion modifier now. Uh, as you can see here, we've got the 60 silver lines per shot and you have four guns so 240 silver lines per per salvo and the sap rounds aren't working like they used to so let's have a look at last week's gameplay and you can tell me what you think about this ship down in the comments below all right we've got some targets up here taking the alpha point Try and get some early shots in on him. We've got big, nice big guns, so if we get close to him, we'll just clap him hard. Basically a frigate with a destroyer's firepower. On the slower side, not quite as fast as HMS Blackpool. Or HMS Whitby, if that's the one that you have. And she's a bit of a one-trick pony. I don't particularly like the 40mm stag guns. They look great, but they're a little bit high up for me. And I think the depression isn't the greatest, so... A bit more gentle battle rating this time. Last match, I got absolutely butt-handed to me by Moffat Supremes. All right, the crew have seen us and they've decided to, that we're the major threat. We need to try and turn away from this fire that's coming over the island. That island isn't quite high enough to defend us from five inch gunfire, unfortunately. And there's a lot of that coming through. Try and wiggle a bit to try and throw off the lead. But it looks like they have us sort of dialed in. Lost bridge, lost front gun. And this this boat is the first boat that's really cost me money to use. My last two games I've come away 
losing a thousand silver lines after repairs, and that's using a backup too. Not using a backup is probably going to destroy your bank balance with this ship. Hopefully the upcoming economic changes do something about the cost of high tier coastal boats. Or at least the ammunition cost, because I, I just can't justify using the semi-armor piercing rounds unless I am guaranteed to do meaningful damage. I.e. at a close range. Like here, for instance, I might consider switching to high explosive, but then... I don't know, it's a bit hard. Hard to tell. The British SAP is not as good as it used to be. There's been some change to it. And so it's just a matter of adapting to that new damage. Try and hit the rear ammo rack there on this Nox. They're not as squishy as a Moffat though. We might get him slowly. We, we're down to 20% crew. Not good. Oh, torpedo. Just there. <laughs> an army on the other side of the map. That's no matter. Being in a slower ship, you are prone to fast torpedoes. Despite having the firepower of a destroyer, we don't necessarily have the survivability, or the handling, or the speed of a destroyer. So while it might be tempting to take direct gunfights, you'll quickly find that you need to play sort of more passively with this ship. Plenty of hits, and also you can't rely on your rangefinder, so it is all gunnery skill. A little bit too short on the lead. These two look like they're going to clash, we might get a double hit here. Fortunately, that is a K2, so I'm not going to do a terrible amount of damage to him with my high explosive. But if we can keep his decks on fire while switching over to SAP. Just having a quick look around for coastal boats because they did take the alpha point and there has been no contest of that. Not quite good enough for the hits there. Got one through the bridge. Japanese destroyer, we're gonna get some fire out onto him. Try and get his torpedo bays, get them in one or two shots. They are pretty, pretty susceptible to high explosive fire. And it also ensures it doesn't cost me any money to shoot these rounds. Something smaller over in the background. Possibly a light destroyer. Or another frigate. Managed to take down that Japanese destroyer. Got a run of coastal boats here. And I mean, if you've got good gunnery, you're going to absolutely annihilate the coastal teams. It's another K2. So 4.0, like I said, is pretty good battle rating for this boat, I think. It's just the, the repair cost just makes it so, so niche to play. Like you, you sort of, Hesitate, should I come back again or should I even bother trying to spawn it? What am I up against? And if you're grinding all the way to top tier, like you sort of want to be rewarded with a semi useful. Like even if it's expensive, you want it to have some fun before it costs you an arm and a leg. Put some ripple fire in here, try and get this guy out of our crosshairs, get him done for.
All the squishy bits are now done for, so we're not getting any feedback there on the damage. Hit some of the rear. And despite trying to keep the convergence, the guns are fairly wide apart. They don't like close range targets. So you do need to keep managing your convergence. Keep running that lead in close to the ship. Fast moving targets can, can get you, I think. If you're not onto them. Seems like everybody's bringing the K's 2 to the party today. And we, as you can see, we're suffering from frigate syndrome in that the entire map has been controlled and we're only really just entering the combat zone. Got to be anti-air target. What are we looking at? We're going to keep him managed. BF-109. Switching to HEVT. Send up a volley there just to try and feel him out. Let him know that we're aware. And meanwhile, we have a run of other ships coming through the Bravo point. Finally, one of my allies has contested Alpha. Watching the scope. He is heading towards us on the scope. The air target, that is. It's keeping one eye shifted at that radar scope like a gecko. Trying to hit this rear ammo rack. Yes, got him. G-Class down and done for. Where is our friend here? We've lost our radar. And we managed to take down the K2 as well. Lost radar. Can't see the fighter. Can't tell where he is. Do we... Got another air target coming in. Put the radar back on. We still... Th we have three... Three blips on our radar. One coming in from the rear quarter. Still can't see or hear him. So we're going to worry about the ones we can see. Put some fire out. The stag has open fire. I think it stands for Stabilize Tachymetric Anti-Aircraft Gun. Big mechanical computer looking thing. Alright, getting back onto the surface targets now. Those air targets didn't really eventuate into anything. Engage with a German destroyer. Try and get rid of his front turrets there and maybe the torpedo bays. Just to cripple his ability to fight us back. His four turrets are hit. We might switch ammunition now. Try and get into his boiler rooms. And possibly that front ammo rack. Oh, we've run into the wall. Lack of coordination. Hit full rear. We've got major fire there in the engine room. Hit the rear magazine. Come on, one more hit. Should be able to silence him any moment. Little bit of scatter. He's dropping fish in the water there. Full back. Full port rudder. Checking for extra threats. What have we got here? Peacock. Fairly easy to deal with. We switch away from our expensive ammunition. Keeping an eye out for those fish that were in the water. New target. Japanese destroyer. Taking out his long lances. Get rid of all of those torpedoes. They're his biggest threat to us. Switching to semi-armor piercing rounds. We are taking nose fire, which is taking out our foregun. 
trying to get into the boiler room, start a secondary fire. Big chunk of crew will go if we can hit there. One more hit. There we go. Our enemies directly ahead. We have another air target, do we? Radar is up again. Looks to be another fast moving Corvette of some description. We have an air target coming in from the 3 o'clock, as well as a naval target directly ahead. We've lost the 4-gun. We have a torpedo we're about to thread through. We're in a bit of trouble now. We did manage to push through to the Bravo point, and I'm going to bail. Let's try and come back in something quickly to be really useful and stop that Bravo capture. HMS Vega, my trusty reserve. <laughs> See what we can do in the dying moments of this game. I couldn't repair the four gun, and so there was no real point trying to extend my life. I'd rather come back as something useful and capitalize on that momentum. Knowing when to fight and when to flight is probably <laughs> a major skill. Just alternating that fire, trying to stop this guy from making it to Bravo. Charlie is now being secured, so this match is pretty much in the bag. Ironically, I'm trying to earn back some of the money that we lost. Losing two of those leopards. One was the backup, so we've lost 30,000. Plus, I probably spent maybe 50 or 100 ammo. So another 6,000 or so. And I think that's it. Combat is ceasing. 13,000 damage. Seven, seven kills, two deaths. Both of them expensive Leopard class frigates. Let's see how that pays off. To minimize some of those losses, I'm also running a destroy 10 units wager. And that will help to somewhat alleviate this. 54,000 silver lions, it cost 30 so. We've yeah, we made 15. If I didn't have the backup, that would have been a bit of an issue. So you've got to top the leaderboards at this stage. I really hope they fix that.